गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर न्यू क्लास आई एम मनोज चौटिया फ्रॉम रघुनाथ स्कूल वी आर स्टडी ब्रायोफाइटा और थर्ड चैप्टर प्लांट किंगडम इन विच वी स्टडी अर्लियर एलगी नाउ ब्रायोफाइटा वी डिस्कस द करेक्टर्स ऑफ ब्रायोफाइटा नाउ ब्रायोफाइटा आर ऑफ टू टाइप विच आर लिवर वर्ड एंड मोसेस वेन वी Differentiate among them that our uh, <coughs> liver wort and mosses are complete. First of all, look at characters. Liver worts. Liver worts means uh, the plant which is shaped just like human's liver. And mosses means a very small herbaceous plant-like structure is called mosses. mainly adult gametophyte uh, which appears from protonema is differentiated into rhizoids axis stem and leaves which can uh, we discuss that uh, in bryophyta there is not true leaves stem and root are present so roots are called rhizoids here at the base of stem branch obligated uh, septate multicellular colorless and rhizoids are present in mosses mature rhizoids turn brown stem is erect and branched only once in extra axillary fashion if uh, examiner asked about liver worts or mosses then we can write uh, this side of characters only and in liver worts this side dekhiye uh, agar hame liver worts ke bare mein pucha jayega to hum केवल इतना ही लिख देंगे लीवर वर्ड के करेक्टर्स लिख देंगे और मोसेस के बारे में पूछा जाएगा तो इसको नहीं लिख के और मोसेस के करेक्टर्स लिख देंगे और अगर डिफरेंस पूछा जाता है तो डायरेक्ट अपन दोनों करेक्टर्स लिख देंगे तो इस प्रकार से हमारा ये लीवर वर्ड और मोसेस जो है वो कंप्लीट हो जाएगा ठीक है सबसे पहले देखिए फर्स्ट करेक्टर है सिमेट्री सिमेट्री वॉट इज सिमेट्री यू नो अबाउट सिमेट्री सिमेट्री वेन एवर वी कट एनी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म Uh, with their center axis and divide it in two equal part then it is called symmetry by imaginations line maan lijiye uh, ye koi plant hai theek hai aur isko hum ye iska center axis hai is center axis se guzarte hue jab hum isko do barabar barabar bhagon mein kaatte hain theek hai we cut it into two equal parts if uh, it cut By only a single level, यानी एक तरफ से काटने पर ये दो इक्वल पार्ट में डिवाइड होता है देन इट इज डोर सीमेंट्रल और किसी भी तरफ से काटने पर ये दो इक्वल पार्ट में डिवाइड होता है तो इस रेडियल सो सिमेट्री लीवर वर्स हैज डोर सीमेंट्रल एंड मोसेस हैज रेडियल सिमेट्री ब्रांचिंग ब्रांचिंग कैसी है तो लीवर वर्स में क्या है डाइकोटोमस है और मोसेस में क्या है लेटरल बट एक्स्ट्रा एक्सिलरी लेटरल में ब्रांचिंग होती है लेकिन एक्स्ट्रा एक्सिलरी बर्ड के द्वारा ठीक है प्लांट्स ये थेलोइड और फोलियज ये दोनों टाइप्स के होते हैं थेलोइड मीन्स यू नो अबाउट थेलस द प्लांट विच इज नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट इन टू रूट स्टेम एंड लिव आर कॉल्ड थेलस सो इट इज थेलोइड और फोलियज मीन्स विच हैव लिव आर ऑल्सो प्रजेंट एंड मोसेज हैव फोलियज then rhizoids we discuss uh, no uh, the roots are called rhizoid because true roots are absent rhizoids are unicellular unbranched in mosses branched multicellular and septate septate we discuss in uh, fungi whenever a multi nucleate cell has a septa among them then it is called septate if multicellular cell is present With multi nucleus, then it is non septate. Then midrib. What is midrib? Midrib is the uh, vascular organ of leaves, which is present in. Uh, if we see uh, the leaf of people, then this middle structure is called midrib. So uh, midrib is absent in liver worts and present in. Mosses scales usually present and in mosses scales are absent. Capsule. What is capsule? 
we know that uh, bryophyta has a gametophytic and sporophytic both conditions are found together and if uh, sporophytic condition is divided into three parts foot seta and capsule this is capsule this is foot and this is seta this type of structure of sporophyte uh, sporophyte means diploid structure is found in bryophyta which is uh, divided into capsule foot and seta and uh, capsule is further divided in apophysis theca and epiphysis we are not discussing that here so uh, capsule is simple but in moses capsule is complex stomata on sporangia sporangia means uh, the organ in which spores are produces so stomata on sporangia or we can say here the spores are uh, produced by capsule so uh, stomata on sporangia or capsule absent and in moses uh, stomata are present in capsule columella is the structure by which uh, sporophyte is embedded in gametophyte that is uh, absent in liverworts and present in mosses then dihens of uh, capsule by elaters or by peristome in mosses and protonema is absent in liverworts and present in mosses protonema is the structure by which mosses can uh, do vegetative reproduction so uh, this is our topic is uh, finished of liverwort and mosses now uh, we can see the example is also there present funeria is the example of mosses markensia is the example of liverworts now our next topic is pteridophyta and today we can see the characteristics of pteridophyta as we study uh, bryophyta bryophyta are the members of bryophyta live in more or less sandy moist cold place in group some bryophytes are inhabit bogs and swim still other in rain forest occur abundantly or epiphytes on leaves and trunks of trees they are very commonly noticed on damp soils rocks walls etc and none is marine but pteridophyta are the plants which are uh, specially found on the lands and which have seed less and spore producing plants and the first cryptogamous plants which have vascular system uh, like xylem and phloem are found in pteridophyta and they are first terrestrial because bryophyta are the amphibians of plant kingdom and pteridophyta are the first terrestrial plant which have flowerless seedless and spore producing vascular plants which have successfully invented the land so uh, the main characters of pteridophyta what are the main characters of pteridophyta the first main character of pteridophyta they are sporophyte means they have diploid stage the main stage of pteridophyta is diploid and rest of the character habit and habitat first uh, the plants are small exist annually or perennial most of them most of them are terrestrial plants however some grow in sandy uh, soil and listen carefully characters and most of them are terrestrial plant and thrive well under damp and sandy conditions however some grow in sandy soils in jerry climates some are aquatic also that is salvinia azolla and marsilia means salvinia azolla and marsilia are the aquatic pteridophyta ye one mark ke question mein pucha ja sakta hai salvia marsilia salvia marsilia and selaginella uh, sorry azolla are the aquatic pteridophyta and pteridophyta has uh, first character of 
just come to seed plants what is the main character of seed plants they have oogamous type of sexual reproduction in which the male and female gametes are separate with external and internal morphology pteridophyta bear an independent sporangia all present day pteridophyta are herbaceous except few woody tree ferns like Cynthia spinosa and Dicksonia plant bodies differentiated into true stem root and leaves however in lower pteridophyta like xylotum and xylodes true roots and well developed leaves are absent leaves may be megaphyllous or microphyllous in nature plants may be dorsiventral or radial in symmetry and bear uh, dichotomously or laterally branch stem the roots are generally adventitious primary embryonic roots usually short leaves steel in pteridophyta ranges from proto steel siphono steel or dicoti steel companion cells are absent reproduction in pteridophyta are of three type asexual sexual and vegetative and sporangia are also present there and the development of sporangia is also called eusporangiate or leptosporangiate we can say these are the first vascular plants and vascular plants means they have xylem and phloem in it and xylem and phloem are made up of four cells because xylem and phloem are tissue in both uh, or we can say these are the connective between bryophyta and embryophyta bryophyta are the plants which have gametophytic conditions also present there and embryophyta means which have produced embryo or seed and these are the two plants gymnosperm and angiosperm so pteridophyta are the connective between these two xylem and phloem are made up of uh, four cells which are xylem in xylem xylem fiber and in uh, phloem <coughs> so these are the four cells of xylem and phloem xylem tracheids vessels xylem fiber xylem parenchyma phloem have side tubes companion cells phloem fiber and phloem chyma among them vessels and companion cells are present in their vascular system means uh, full or developed vascular system is absent in pteridophyta and sex organ of pteridophyta are also called anthidium and archegonium and you know that archegonium is a uh, just like a same in bryophyta a flask like structure and male sex organ are called anthidia and female sex organ are called archegonia gametophyte form from homosporous type are monoecious these are the main uh, characters of pteridophyta now uh, in next video we will study about uh, classification of pteridophyta thank you for today